Hello, dear friends. Before starting my lecture, let me shortly introduce myself. Tashkent Institute of Irrigation and Agricultural Mechanization Engineers from EKGIS Center, Pirmatov Habibullah. Today, we will discuss about conservation agriculture as a sustainable farming practices. After this lecture, you will understand what is sustainable land management. One of important environmental issue, namely global soil degradation. And as a solution to this issue is the implementation of conservation agriculture. Finally, I will explain reasons why this technology is considered as the sustainable farming practices. Based on the definition of food and agriculture organization of the United Nations, sustainable land management is a crucial to minimizing land degradation, rehabilitating degraded areas, and ensuring optimal use of land resources for the benefit of present and future generation. Conservation agriculture meets these requirements and supports sustainable land management practice. As we know from our previous lecture, Conservation agriculture is an approach to managing agroecosystems for the improved and sustained productivity, increased profits and food security while preserving and enhancing the resource base and the environment. The change in the characteristic and quality of the soil, which adversely affect its fertility, is called as a land degradation. Land degradation is the most important environmental problem currently challenging sustainable development in many parts of the world. The problem is most acute where the environment is intrinsically vulnerable, whether the population is losing control of its own resources. Land degradation costs an estimated 40 billion US dollars annually worldwide, without taking into the account hidden costs of fertilizer use, loss of biodiversity, and the unique landscapes. One of the solutions to the following problem is to implement new approach for the growing plants conservation agriculture. United Nations member states endorsed the 2030 agenda and committed to implement the sustainable development goals, a set of 17 global goals in a 15-year period. The 2030 agenda for sustainable development contains land-related targets and indicators under the SDGs 1, 2, 5, 11, and 15. Many land organizations and stakeholders are committed to fully implementing the SDGs and to monitoring the land-related indicators in order to promote responsible land governance. Land is a significant resource, both cross-cutting and critical to achieving SDGs. In order to distinguish conservation agriculture from conventional agriculture, I would prefer to give definition for conventional agriculture. Conventional agriculture is a set of farming practices which commonly focus on monoculture, consists of intensive plowing, heavy irrigations, as well as using chemical inputs. Plowing is the main operation in the conventional agriculture and this operation causes soil erosion. As I have mentioned in my previous lecture, conservation agriculture has three main principles. First, minimum soil disturbance. Second, permanent soil cover. And third, crop rotation. These principles should meet the following requirements. Firstly, the disturbed area must be less than 15 centimeters wide, or less than 25% of the cropped area. Secondly, area with less than 30% permanent soil cover is not considered as a conservation agriculture. And last, crop rotation should involve at least three different crops. There is no unique meaning of the term sustainability, but commonly used definition sustainability includes itself environmental, economic, and social values. Conservation agriculture is a sustainable land management practices. Let's analyze conservation agriculture by these three parameters. Firstly, conservation agriculture is regarded as a carbon sequestration. It has been calculated that total potential for the soil carbon sequestration 
by agriculture could offset about 40% of the estimated annual increase in carbon dioxide emissions. Therefore, the implementation of this technology to the practice can lead the reduction of carbon emission and slow down the process of climate change. The main reasons that causes the loss of soil moisture are the evaporation and runoff. Technically, 60-70% rainfall is evaporated, 10-20 losses as a runoff, and only the 10 and 20% of water that filters into the soil is useful for agriculture. With maintaining residue on the surface of the land, conservation agriculture reduces soil erosion, as well as provide higher infiltration. By implementing conservation agriculture more than five years, it improves soil organic matter and soil biological health. Moreover, it preserves water and keeps the soil temperature even. As for the economic benefits, by implementing conservation agriculture, farmers save 50-70% labor, fuel, machinery operating and maintenance, 50-100% fertilizer, 20-50% pesticides and 30-40% water use. It gives an range because of how long conservation agriculture is implemented in the field. The more years you use conservation agriculture, the more you can save your resources. Crop yields in conservation agriculture can be the same or higher compared to the conventional tillage system. However, there is also possibility that it can be lower at the beginning of conservation agriculture implementation. With the appropriate management of residue, pests and weeds, conservation agriculture gives its positive results for the long term. The large number of different networks, associations and groups concerning on conservation agriculture practices is shown that there is a prospective future for the developing this technology in the world. In order to popularize it worldwide, there is need more international, regional and national support government policy, the trainings of extension services agencies and NGOs play an important role for adopting and disseminating it. Promoting conservation agriculture globally, along with the Food and Agriculture Organization, the European Conservation Agriculture Federation, which was established in 1999 as a non-profit making international association, held the first World Congress on Conservation Agriculture in 2001 in Madrid, initiating series of such congresses in two or three years in different countries in the world. In conclusion, conservation agriculture is a sustainable land management practices and it can reduce land degradation processes in the world. In order to take full advantages of conservation agriculture, there is need to meet these requirements. Disturbed area must be the less than 15 cm wide or less than 25% of cropped area. Secondly, area should be with the more than 30% of soil permanent cover. It should involve at least three different crops. By implementing conservation agriculture, farmers can save their resources. Thank you very much for your attentions. I hope to see you the next time.